Are you a math or a science teacher and you absolutely love being able to use a really robust whiteboard for your tutoring where you can upload PDFs and you can write on them and you have all of those um, scientific tools that you need in order to do your tutoring? Then you are going to want to stay tuned. Hey, you guys. So today I'm going to be showing you a new whiteboard that has everything in one. Now, I haven't been this excited about a whiteboard in a really long time. What's cool about this is it could completely replace Zoom and be a better tool for your tutoring. Now, I know math and science teachers, you guys absolutely love using tools like BitPaper where you have the live call right there in the whiteboard and you have all of your tools and resources all at once you don't have to be going from screen to screen you can do everything right there oh my gosh you are going to love this tool so i'm going to go on the back side so you can see a little bit more about this what does it look like and and see what my ultimate review is but i think you have an idea of how much i already love this tool so here we are you guys this is this is when you go to liveboard it's liveboard.online and you are going to be able to get to see this incredible tool here is they have a quick video that kind of shows a, a demo of exactly some of the things that you can do here, this is, you can see here, they're just showing you some of those amazing tools like right out of the gate that you can access and you can invite people to your board. You can create new boards. You have unlimited boards. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so incredible. So I think this is really cool. I mean, really their big thing is to teach without all those distractions that can be happening, right? So if you do everything inside of this one tool, this is gonna be incredible for you. And you can see here on the side, we have the people that are joining the class. And then we have uh, a bigger view of like your, um, I believe it's of yourself that, that you have. When I, when I saw that uh, going on in as a live board, I haven't played with inviting other people into it yet. But it was really built for tutors and it was made easy for students to have that one click connect. We're going to take a look at the features that it has. It's set over here to take a look at some of the features. You can see here, it's got that collaborative whiteboard so your student can write on there, you can write on there. And then it has even folders. So it has a way for you to be able to organize all of your folders, your groups or your students. You can organize all of your students. Like that's the way I would do it since I do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. But if you did group tutoring, you'd be able to organize all of your students that are in that group all in uh, one folder where all of the boards that you've worked on are are together so that you can easily access them. And then it's just one click access. You just give them the link and they're able to, to join. Got, you can even record. I love this feature that you can record this. So if you're making videos of uh, using the whiteboard screen, you absolutely have that power to do that. And it's got a student's attention tracker. Now, this is not something that is typically on um, it's not really something that's on. This is really helpful when you have those great classes that you know if a student is not paying attention. So here it says that Renee has kind of been away for six minutes. That's bringing it to your attention. It doesn't bring it to her attention. It brings it to your attention. So then you can engage Renee right away so that you bring her back on in. And if she's not there, um, then you can, you know, obviously be able to deal it. Look this, it says that this guy's offline so that you know, okay, this person's been away for six minutes and this person's offline. So they can't get away with not being present inside of this this session got live quizzes integrated inside of it where you can engage your entire group if you wanted to you can create on the spot interactive quizzes quizzes just to kind of assess student performance in that real time and you can add unlimited single choice multiple choice questions and set a time for each if needed it's got that chat connectivity uh, you can actually have everybody chat with each other inside of there. So it's not just you, the teacher who's talking in there, but you can enable that. You can also um, disable it as well if you don't want people talking to each other and you want them focusing just on you. It's got all of the amazing whiteboard tools. It's got text boxes, pens um, that really make it stand out as a unique board. It even has specific STEM tools for math and for science. 
uh, you can bring in PDFs and you can export PDFs. And I think this is really cool. So you can turn anything that you've worked on into a PDF, but then you could also easily upload anything as a PDF. Uh, it's an infinite board, so it goes on and on and on. It can stretch for as long as you want. So you don't have to worry about space or running out of space on a specific board. You can just keep moving and uh, and your people will move with you as you do it. Again, you can upload any anything that you want, PDF, JPEGs, right on inside of here, uh, worksheets that you've created, images that you've used. You can bring them right on inside of here. So I really, really like this, you guys. This is fantastic. But here is one of the coolest things. I know sometimes with these whiteboards, they get kind of clunky. They'll get clunky on Chromebooks. They'll get clunky on if a kid is on their phone for the session or if the kid is on their iPad for the session. This works on all devices, okay? This is game-changing, you guys. So I'm going to go to my live board and log on in. And I'm just going to click on add new board. Now I can create an infinite board with infinite canvas size, a blank board, which is just like one size, or I can upload PDF that I want to be able to work on. So I'm going to show you with just the blank board here. What's the difference, you know, between that blank board and that infinite board? You'll see here I can add pages. So that's the difference between the blank, like the blank board and the other one. So let's say I want to start a new idea. Like I'm 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 teaching a concept here, blah, blah, blah. Maybe I don't like the size of this. Do you see that it's at 650? Well, watch this. I'm gonna bring it down in size to be at a hundred. And now I can have that that skinnier line that's inside of here. Um, but I can make anything bigger if I want to zoom in on it. That's kind of nice. Right there. If I come on over here, I've got that pen. I can change the color of the pen so I can make things stand out. So here are the choices. I can make it as, as bold of a line as I want or as thin of a line as I want. I can even turn it into a highlighter here or marker. Um, and I have all of these shapes that I have available to me. So if I'm working on geometry, I've got all those shapes right there, right? If I want to be able to add something with text and easily write something in there. Uh, let's put text here. Let's go here. Let's go back to text and put hello. If I want to change the font size of that, I can just set up and it will make it as big as I want. I can change the color of that text. If I want to delete that text, I then just hit that um, box right there. Uh, we've got some formulas that are here. Uh, one is an uh, LaTeX and one is a graph editor. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know a lot about those things, but here is the LaTeX. So those you math people who use these kinds of things, here you go. This is this is all here for you to uh, to put on in and be able to use. Um, and then there's also the graph editor. So if you wanted to do graphs and all of that amazing stuff, you can you can do that. So you can try out that feature for yourself and be able to use that. I think that the fact that it has it all right there is absolutely incredible. You've got an eraser, so anything that you want to erase, you can absolutely erase. One of the things that I've absolutely loved is when I'm like writing on a, I can also like upload right inside of here. I'm going to put a new page here. I can upload a, a PDF or an image even. I'm going to show you like an image that I, I and, and I know like this is an image that I created with one of my students just recently. I was teaching them about author's purpose and pie. I am going to put in here my Freer model. I'm going to take this, select all, next. And here's my Freer model. So uh, what I love about this is when I erase, guys, it's not erasing anything on here, right? It's keeping that on there. So now for me as like a reading tutor, I can type on in uh, right inside here the definition of the, uh, the, the word that I'm, I'm going to be defining. I can put the definition up here. So again, I can click text and I can put uh, definition. I can put the characteristics right here. So I just click on text and I put characteristics. I can come right on over here. And I'm going to type on in examples. And then I can type on over here, non-examples. And I can have the child now come on in and I can have them actually do the definition for the word that it is that we're working on and uh, put the characteristics inside of here, write down the examples and non-examples, or I can do that, right? So that's all on 
this page three. And if I want to do the next thing, uh, the next board, I can add a next one and I can upload that again and I can create another one. So I could create uh, an entire space of, of boards where we're creating um, all these amazing vocabulary words that we're going to be holding on to. So I really like this, you guys. I think this is a really cool tool that has a lot of possibilities. I'm going to come back on to the uh, beginning. You can see here there's a start call and I do have to enable my my camera. I can't right now because I'm creating the video, right? Um, and then it, you also select your video, um, your microphone, and then you just click start. You can invite your students right on over here. So if I invite my student, here's the link that I'm going to give them. Here's the session code that they have. And that's it. Or I can just invite them through their emails and, and have them connect that way. So super duper easy to be able to invite your people to a call and be able to, to do this. Again, remember I said you could disable the chat if you wanted to. You can disable the chat so that the students aren't. If you have multiple students, they're not typing things on inside of there. And I can enable drawing for all. So if I just click that, I, it enabled everybody to be able to, to join on in on that. So I'm going to go back here to... It saved my board here. I didn't title my board, but obviously I would want to so I could organize it, right? And then over here, we're going to try to take a look at this infinite board size. So you can see what does that look like? But that just means like um, when I have an infinite board size, it goes on forever and ever and ever. Like I can be scrolling, I can be writing and uh, and doing everything that I want to. Now I'm going to put this at, I like it to be at the the 100 here we go. So now I'm going to start drawing inside of here. And now I can, I can move things around. I can, you know, I can draw, I can, I can do whatever I want. I really do have a limited size. It does make everything a little bit smaller as I am making it that limited size. I can undo anything that I've done right here with a click button. That's nice. I love that feature. But then I also love that this is all like available kind of size of what I can use with my students. So fantastic. And if I just want to do, do from a PDF, I can just upload that Friar model again. And I'm going to create that board with, with my Friar model. Open the board and there it is. Already just opened up, ready to go uh, for me to start writing on and do what it is that I want to do. So and if I wanted to write any other additional notes over here on the side, I could, right? This is all writing space that I can use uh, on here. I really love it. Now, let's talk about pricing real quick because, you know, that's that's going to be, that's important. It's important to know, like, what is the price for this, right? I'm going to go, I'm going to go right on back to their original page here. I think I just have to, I have to get rid of app, I think. Let me see. Yeah. So I'm going to go back to... Here, get rid of app. Here we go. And here's pricing. You can get started for absolutely free. Uh, if you're just working with one student, you get one session. You can do five courses, five recordings. Uh, you can use on any device. Uh, you get a math and science whiteboard, and uh, you can import your content. When you move up to this premium, you you can try it for free for 14 days and it's only $9.99 for you to do that. And then here you're going to see that you get unlimited students per session. You also get unlimited sessions, unlimited video calls, the online classroom management, the session recordings and the student attention tracker. Now I ask, I'm curious. I'm always curious, right? Like, oh, well, what does unlimited mean? Like, I know what unlimited means, but like, really, like, what can this program really logistically do? And so I said, like, when you say unlimited students per session, like how many students can you have per session? And they said that they have tested it up to, you know, like a hundred, which I don't know anybody who has a hundred students on one session, but they tested it up to a hundred students and they were able to get 100 students to be able to work on this and do this. So it works with extremely large sizes. One person tried to like raise the bar even higher and do a thousand and it glitched out. <laughs> so uh, not that that's like a concern of any of us, right? But unlimited really means unlimited, you guys. Like it doesn't matter if you have five or 10 or 20 students inside of the class, it's going to work for all of them. And again, it is not an ongoing thing 
and it is um, the same price point or a little bit cheaper than Zoom. So if you are a math or a science teacher, I'm going to say like you definitely want to check this out. Um, and if you are a uh, tutor something else and you're looking for a very robust whiteboard, uh, check it out. Do the, the try for 14 days free. I have a link for you inside of the description. Um, and uh, you're going to be able to get a discount by using that link. So uh, you're going to get 10% off of the price to be able to join. So cool beans, right? Really good stuff. So if you use that link, you get 10% off. Um, I chose to become an affiliate with LiveBoard because I was like, this is so much better than all of the other whiteboards I've seen. Now, you guys, I get approached by whiteboard people all the time. I ignore most of them because I'm like, yeah, 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 you're all the same, blah, blah, blah. And then I checked this one out and it caught my attention. And what caught my attention was that it has that video piece right inside of there. You can upload, you, it's when you erase, it's not erasing the actual like PDF that you have. I really see this as a game changing whiteboard when it comes to our resources and tools, you guys. You definitely want to check it out. Thanks for checking out my review and uh, and stay tuned to on Thursday. On Thursday, we're going to be talking all about finances and really how can you become really financially responsible with your business? And what are some of those biggest myths that we have about finances when we are running our business? So thanks for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day.